but we all have had a mother. We couldn't have, have gotten here without a mother. And I think you ought to praise God for that. And that you, you, you had one and you got one. You, you ought to show some, some glory, some praise to God. Because you had and some you already have. Now you all want me to preach. I want you to act alive. I'm getting older, not old. But I'm getting older. Somebody said, I've been running for Jesus a mighty long time. You know what I'm glad about? And I ain't got tired yet. I've decided to run on to see what the end going to be. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've decided to run on. Storm may rise, wind may blow, but I've decided to run on. <laughs> Hills get high to climb, valley gets steep. Personal pronoun, but I decided to run on to see what the end gonna be. I, I know there is an end somewhere. And I'm determined to see what the end gonna be. Rays get hard to run sometimes. But I decided <laughs> to see what the end gonna be. It, it, Y'all gonna mind standing up there a little while. I gotta stand here throughout the rest of this. So y'all stand up a little while. God, it's just a blessing to be here. Amen. Would y'all mind if I make them sing that song again? And I want the musicians to play like they're playing them other songs. And if they can't play it, then I'm, you know, I'm going to have another thought somewhere. I want them to play it like they're playing, like they're going, going crazy. And they play these other songs. Don't want, a while ago, they didn't want to stop playing when the preacher got up to pray. Now I want you to pray. I want you to play this song. And don't act like you don't want to stop playing. How about that, Brother Marcus? Is that all right? Talk to me there. And I want everybody in the audience to sing. It, you, this is not a play to speculate. But you come to worship God. Not to look at the preacher, not a deacon, not a choir member, but you come here to worship God. He's the one to be praised. God is a great God and greatly to be praised. The psalmist says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nation be glad and sing for joy.
talk to you briefly. I, I, I don't know why the Lord want me to talk from this portion of the Bible. But uh, it's been on my mind for a few days. And I'm going to try to say what the Lord want me to say. I want everyone to stand with your Bibles. And um, turn to the book of First King. The book of First King, the third chapter. You don't have a Bible, look on with someone else. And I, I want you to participate, Amen. not to speculate, Amen. but to participate. I want you to begin reading, and I'd like for you to pay attention to, as to what you are going to read. And let it become a part of you. First King, third chapter, I want to start reading at the 16th verse. And you may read. two verses and then spake the woman who the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son and she said oh my lord give her the living child and no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine nor thine. Divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And I, I just want to talk about the love of a real mother. The love of a 
real mother. Uh, we do notice them sorry the air is out. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. And but thinking about what is going on in this third chapter of the book of First King, we notice that the main character of this uh, this chapter is none other than King Solomon. And uh, the Bible says that uh, Solomon became king at the age of 12 years old. I want y'all to listen to me. Are y'all listening? Yes. Solomon became king at the age of 12 years old. You, you know what thought came to my mind when I read that over again? There's no need for no children in church. Y'all don't want to get me. No need. God have always, has always dealt with children. Come on, y'all now. As God has always dealt with children. When God wants to do something great, notice in the Bible he always dealt with children. Y'all don't believe me. Ah. Uh, Samuel, who became prophet and priest and judge, when God called him, he would just, it is speculated that he was about 80 years old. A child. Are y'all following me? So God doesn't always deal with, with adducts when he really wants to get his program over. I want y'all to follow me. So you need to get out of your mind that you got to have children church. Not only did he, thank you son, not only did he deal, dealt with, uh, with, with Samuel, but, but, but he also dealt with Jeremiah. When Jeremiah was just a little child. You, you remember, don't you, Jeremiah, 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 when the Lord called him, and, uh, and, uh, and Jeremiah said, Lord, I'm a child and I cannot speak. Right. God said, say not that thou art a child, but I shall go wherever I send you and whatever I command you, that shall you speak. Right. And so now we're looking at Solomon. Right. Those of you who have studied your Bible history, you notice that Solomon became the, the third king of the Israelite kingdom, of the United Kingdom, of the Israelite kingdom, I'm saying it in many different ways, of the Israelite kingdom before it was divided into two. Y'all follow me? It was divided because of the fact somebody didn't do what God had said do. Whenever you fail to do what God says, it always it causes a, a penalty. Y'all yeah. right. ain't following me. Yeah. So Solomon, he became the third king of Israel. All right. Brother Lamont, you know the first king was Saul. Not, not because he was God's choice, but because Israel wanted a king like all other nations. And, and even sometimes, even though when you beg God for something, even though it's not good for you. Yes, sir. But God being such a merciful and such a gracious God, sometimes he didn't give you what you want. I know you're right. Yeah, you, you know it, son. He gives you, amen, what you want. You notice, if you will, I might go a long way because y'all kind of slow on me today. Notice that, 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 that Saul, uh, in so many words, was not God's choice. All right. But because he Israel wanted a king, like all other nations. 
And sometimes doing things like everybody else do is not what God wants. I had said to me many times, Pastor, we need this program in the church. We need that program. Well, they are doing this. They are doing that. But what does God say? All right. Lamar, are you, are you listening? What does God say about this? All right. God always have already made out his program for life. All right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. His agenda have already been drawn up. Yes. And all the only thing he wants man to do is just follow his agenda. No, it doesn't need any addition, neither subtraction. Yes. And 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 it, God, 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 uh, when when before He brought Israel over into the land of promise, uh, He said, "When you get over in the land of promise, don't turn to the right hand, not the left hand, neither pattern yourselves after other nations." Sometimes we get in trouble trying to pattern ourselves that after what somebody else is doing. But you need to know what God would have you to do. And, 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 and so they went to Samuel, who was just a little boy, a little lad when God called him uh, into his uh, field of, of labor. And, and told Samuel, said, Samuel went to God and said, Lord, now they want a king like all other nations. And it broke Samuel's heart, if you go back and read. It broke his heart because he, he knew that he had been doing what God wanted him to do with Israel. When, 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 when they needed a mediator to, to stand before them and God, Samuel was that mediator. When they got in trouble with God and, 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 and they, they wanted Samuel to call on God on their behalf and Samuel did that. All right. And God heard uh, Samuel cry. Yeah. So, so, so when Israel kept on impressing upon Samuel that we want a king like all other nations, all right. uh, Samuel went to God. His heart was broken. His heart was sad. Because he knew that he had done the best he could for, in order to help the people of, of God. That they might be obedient to God's will. He knew that how God had already brought them out of the land of Egypt uh, uh, through the wilderness for 40 years. And had brought them over uh, the Jordan River as well as the Red Sea. And now they, they want a king not recognizing that God had been their king all along. And all the other nations were afraid of Israel because of the fact they knew that God had somebody, I mean, that Israel had somebody that was fighting their battle that they could not see. And so they were afraid of Israel. Y'all need to go back and read your Bible if you don't know what I'm talking about. They, 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 they were afraid of, of, of the Israelites because they knew that Israel, the Israelites had somebody on that side that they couldn't see. And they couldn't conquer. I'm just going to cut a show for y'all. And uh, God told Samuel, go on, give him a king. And Samuel's heart was broken. And it was broken. I imagine he cried. And I imagine God, uh, my imagination. I imagine God said, Samuel, you don't have to worry about anything. They, they have not rejected you. They rejected me because I'm the one that sent you. So don't feel bad about it. They have not rejected you. They rejected me because I'm the one that sent you. So whenever you're doing God's will and knowing that you're doing what God called you to do and people reject you, they're not rejecting you. They are rejecting God. Because you don't have to worry about it, Sam. You don't have to worry about it. But I tell you what you do, Sam, you go ahead and give them a king. But tell them, tell them what the king going to do. He's going to take your sons and daughters out of their houses without, 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 without their consent. Going to take portion of your land without your consent. Going to take portion of your cattle, your herd, without your consent. And 